Hey, what's happening guys? Mike here. This is just a quick everyday review of the Eco-Worthy 120 watt solar briefcase panel. So this here is what I tip, uh, consider a typical setup in the middle of the day. Basically I have the solar panels facing straight up because it's around noon and uh, you know that plugs into the solar panel here and this part plugs into the battery so you can keep the battery charged and topped up. Now what I don't like about this is this whole button. There's a single button setting on here and you gotta double click. Wait, you gotta click, click, click to get into the different settings. Um, sometimes I forget, but because it's one button only versus some of the other ones, you actually have to hold down the button to switch between the different settings. And yeah, just, just to see what's going on here. Here I am getting about 2.6 amps directly from the solar into the battery. And you don't, in order to see that, if you wanna switch to it, you gotta hold down the power button and get through all these other settings before you can get to it. That part I find just a little bit annoying, but at least you can go ahead and check to see what's going on. So that's that's one thing about this. I've been using it for about a month now, and uh, it really is designed for a temporary type of usage, not to be not meant to be left out. As you can see, during the California sun, it's already just baked away the black color, as you can see, a little bit different color over here. It's darker over here and lighter over here. So it's really not meant to be rugged and left outside for an extended period of time. I did leave this out for a couple of weeks so far and it's produced quite a bit of electricity. But I just want to say that, you know, a lot of people don't talk about this, but this really isn't meant to be left out. So if you're really camping heavy duty somewhere, it's just not going to be the best. Um, it has these type of collectors, connectors, which are the MC4 connectors. Those are the ones that come out directly from the solar panel right over here. And they will just, I mean, these are pretty much standard equipment. But it also has a number of other connectors that are very helpful too. So that can connect directly to an included eco-worthy solar power controller. And this will support charging you know, lead acid, AGM, even lithium ion by pressing a couple of these buttons over here to adjust some of those. It has a number of outputs as well, which is very helpful, particularly if you just want a tw quick 12 volt out. But what I really like about this is that this will plug directly into any of my battery packs. These are standard 5.5 millimeters and they give you a number of adapters that allow you to adapt it for a number of different other power packs. So I have a Suwalki, I have a uh, another generic brand and another generic brand and they all work to charge in just fine. Now as far as the 120 watt claim, uh, out here even in max sunlight, uh, maybe I, I lose, I, I get, I, I don't really get the whole full 120 watts uh, necessarily in here uh, most of the time but you know what there's no built-in stand on here it just basically has a bag uh, section that's built in. This is pretty common in a lot of other uh, briefcase style solar panels and it really just doesn't have any stand so there's no way for you to stand it up. But it is semi-rigid. As you can see it's somewhat flexible so you can actually stand it up against something to better position yourself against the sunlight. But again these are really meant for travel and temporary usage and not left out in the sun like this. Um, as far as durability it's only been about a month so I would want to say with the exception of this going out, uh, it looks like it might last at least throughout the end of the whole warranty period. This piece, however, for whatever reason, I guess maybe because of the really hot sun and look at that. See that? That already got pushed in a little bit. Doesn't affect the functionality at all, but that is a bit of a problem. Uh, luckily, these controllers aren't really too expensive. So uh, there are a few mounting areas for you to go ahead and mount screws and attach it to somewhere a little bit better. I've just kept it under the shade and, you know, it's been working pretty much flawlessly with the exception of this getting put in like that. And I think that's just from the heat. So overall, I think it's a pretty good value. At the price that I got it, it's definitely one of the cheaper ones available on Amazon right now. So just keep, just keep some of those things in mind. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And if not, please give us a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.